Right now at 10, the search for an escaped inmate intensifies as Leon Ruffin has now been on the run for more than 24 hours. WDSU reporter Jonah Gilmore is live tonight. And Jonah, you spoke to security experts who say each minute of this manhunt is extremely critical. Sella, Gina, that security expert says those minutes are critical because it's the time when you have the most manpower and leads before an escapee potentially gets too far. You're not going to see the manpower allocation lean off of this. As the search for escaped inmate Leon Ruffin now surpasses 24 hours, security expert Mike Kahn says in Jefferson Parish, it's all hands on deck. They bring in every single person in their detective bureau and everyone, and everyone works this case from cradle to grave. Ruffin, who was facing a second degree murder charge, escaped the medical transport. Khan says time is of the essence because danger increases as the clock ticks. Right now, they're going to go back and they're going to interview every family member. They're going to interview everyone who had any type of relation to this individual. Khan, a retired SWAT team commander, says with these type of cases, people don't act alone. At some point, he has to have had some sort of help post escape as far as what he's doing, where he's going or where he's staying right now. He believes JPSO is using every agency and resource available for the search. There are certain technologies that are used during the course of this, which we try not to speak about, that help in, in trying to locate the individual. According to Khan, even when departments are quiet during the search, the public can rest knowing they're actively working. So the idea is they're quietly working behind the scenes. Trust me, there's nothing quiet about it. You have over 150 men and women working on this right now, 24 hours a day. Now, the sheriff considered Rufford armed and dangerous. Anyone with information on his location is asked to call 911. We're live outside the Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office. Jonah Gilmore, WDSU News.